the long term rise in average temperature of earth's climate system is known as global warming it is demonstrated by direct temperature measurements and also by measurements of various effects of warming global warming and climate change are used interchangeably but to be more accurate global warming is increase in global temperature while climate change includes global warming and its effects also although there have been records of global warming throughout the earth's history there has never been a time since the mid 20th century where the changes in earth's atmosphere and temperature were so significant it is pretty simple to guess that humans and their activities are the major culprits behind global warming emission of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide methane and nitrous oxide is said to have the largest influence on global warming observed temperature rise in the 18th and 19th century during the industrial revolution there was little increase in temperature however with every passing decade temperature started increasing currently surface temperatures are rising about 0.2 degrees celsius per decade the number of cold days and nights has decreased and the number of warm days and nights has increased not only has global warming increased atmospheric temperature it has warmed ocean water also and has melted ice a wide range of observations such as increase in sea level increased heat content of the oceans increased humidity is documented by scientists for different geographical regions reasons for global warming human activity has increased since the industrial revolution resulting in an increase in the emission of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere greenhouse gases trap heat radiating from earth to space this heat is absorbed and emitted by these gases in the atmosphere thus warming the lower atmosphere and surface carbon dioxide methane chlorofluorocarbons and nitrous oxide are few of the harmful greenhouse gases deforestation is another important reason for global warming forests are cut and that land is used for agricultural and settlement purposes as of now 50% of the world's habitable land is taken up by agriculture and this figure continues to increase effects of global warming environmental effects of global warming occur on oceans ice and weather and can occur rapidly or gradually the loss of ice from glaciers and ice sheets especially from antarctic is an area of concern and can account for 90% of potential sea rise many regions are facing warm spells and heat waves and this is believed to continue throughout the 21st century from 1950 onwards droughts and heat waves have appeared simultaneously and with increasing frequencies extremely wet or dry days have appeared in the monsoon season in india and east asia because of higher atmospheric co2 levels and higher global temperature most of the ecosystem will be affected global warming has resulted in expansion of deserts in subtropics animals on land and in ocean have migrated towards the poles and same phenomenon has been observed in sea plants all regions around the world are at risk of experiencing negative impacts especially low altitude less developed areas and global warming has posed a risk to food production and security on a global as well as regional levels primary crops like wheat and maize are affected and poor people are at a risk of hunger due to this climate change is an important driver for migration both within and outside the country write down your thoughts in the comments section regarding global warming also do like and share this video and please subscribe to our channel thank you for watching